two surprising things from my research and reporting is one, the executives of these companies don't eat their own products. They don't they, try they, their own supply. They know better in terms of how powerful that supply is. And then two, those companies are even more hooked on using, in this case, gobs of salt sugar fat than we are independent on those. Why? Because it's money to them, it's profitability. I mean, there's this formula in the industry called the least cost formulation. Again, knowing that we like our food as inexpensive as we can possibly get it, they are constantly redesigning their products to make the cost less so they can lower the price. Sugar, salt, fat are by and large quite inexpensive as additives to, to food. And that's one of the reasons they're so dependent on this. But now we're back to the business end, right? Because ultimately you're looking for margin, you're looking to pad products out, you want economies of scale. Yeah. At what cost? That's the cost of the convenience, the low price. The cost has been to our health. I mean, the right. numbers are staggering. And what are the numbers? Walk In this country, 40% now of American adults are obese, defined as not just overweight, 35 pounds of overweight or more. Another third of the country is overweight, right. approaching obesity. And that's just, that's just sort of one crude measure of us losing control of our food. There's diabetes, there's gout, there are all sorts of other sort of health issues, along with just kind of this comfort and agony of having lost touch with something that we used to love. Hmm. Cooking food was family, it was warmth, it's our history, it's our culture, it's warmth that we've sold off to the companies in exchange for, for what we thought was a better deal.